Okay, we are going to review writing the equation of a line given a graph. And we're also going to review how to rewrite an equation um, in standard form. So rewriting an equation of a line given a graph, if you're given a graph that looks like this, and you're going to write the equation, you need to find out what the y-intercept is and what the slope is, and then put them in slope-intercept form. Now, if they ask you for another form, you can then move it around from there. Um, so, starting out, here we go. What is your y-intercept? That is where the line crosses the y-axis. So, if I had to guess, my y-intercept would be at 2 right here. So, that means b equals 2. It's a positive 2. That's it. Now I need to figure out what my slope is. So I look and I, I try to determine where the line is crossing on the crosshairs. And when I say crosshairs, I'm talking about if I'm looking at this right here and I have a point right here, these would form crosshairs. It's like if you're playing a video game or you're looking through the scope of a gun, um, that's what I like to call crosshairs. So if I look through here, here's a point where it's crossing on the crosshairs. Here's a point where it's crossing on the crosshairs. Here's another point, and here's another point. So you have a lot of options here. You could have decided that, hey, I want to go up and over this way to determine your slope. You could have said, I want to determine the slope between this point and this point. Either way, it will give you the same answer. So, let's look at how. If I look at this particular um, triangle right here, right in here, how many did it rise? One, two, three. So, it rose three. How many is it running? One, two, three, four, five. So, it's running five. Okay? So, here my slope is... 3 over 5. Now I can't simplify that anymore. Had you picked the triangle below, the second one I drew, and looked at how many it rose and how many it ran, I would determine that this rows 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and that it ran 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, 6 over 10 gives me 3 fifths. Now one last thing to check before we um, write our equation is we would need to make sure that our slope is supposed to be positive or it's supposed to be negative, whichever one. I like to use running man. Here running man, he's going uphill in an upwards direction. So that means a positive slope. So 3 fifths is fine for this situation. So now I can write my equation in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. So my slope, just substituting in, my slope was 3 fifths, so I have y equals 3 fifths. And I leave x as it is. And then my y-intercept was 2. That's rewriting it in slope-intercept form. So you guys try this next one right here. Write the equation of the linear function. Let's see if we get the same answer. All right, so I determined that my y-intercept here was negative 2. And if you look, it's where the graph is crossing at negative 2. And then I determined from there, if I went down 1 and over 4, that I found my next point on the crosshairs. So that meant my slope was negative 1 over 4. I also, if you look, I drew running man over here. Run a man is going downhill. So if run a man is going downhill, I know that my slope should be negative. So y equals negative one fourth x minus two would have been my line, my equation for this line. Now let's talk about rewriting these equations um, of these lines in slope intercept form, given that they're in standard form. So if I look at number one, slope intercept form is where I have y all by itself. So if I want y all by itself, I've got to move x away from it and all the numbers. So I'm trying to isolate y here, so I'm going to subtract x from both sides. Now x is considered to be positive, so if x is considered to be positive, in order to move it, the opposite or the inverse operation would be subtraction. So I'd be left with 2y equals negative x minus 8. 
Now, I am going to still try to get to uh, two y. Um, I want to get that two away from it, from the y, so that I can get y by itself. So two and y are being multiplied together. So I'm going to divide every one by two. So I'm left with y equals. You can leave this as negative x over two, or you can say that this is negative one half x. You've got a lot of options here. I'm going to leave it as negative x over two, which tells me my slope here would be negative one half, and then negative eight divided by a positive two would give me a negative four. You could have written your equation like this, or your other option is y equals negative one half x minus four. Either of these mean the same thing. So either of these options are correct. So I want you guys to try number two all by yourself, and we'll check and see if our answers match. Okay, so I subtracted 4x from both sides to begin with because I need to get this y by itself. So that left me with negative 5y equals negative 4x plus 10. Now, y is being multiplied by a negative 5, so I need to divide all of these terms by a negative 5. So negative 5 divided by negative 5 gives me a positive y equals a negative 4 divided by a negative 5 will give me positive 4 fifths because a negative divided by a negative is a positive and I can't simplify 4 fifths anymore so I'm going to leave it just like it is. So I have 4 fifths x and then positive 10 divided by a negative 5 gives me a negative 2. So putting all that together my slope intercept form of the equation would be y equals 4 fifths x minus 2. Okay I hope this has helped and I hope you guys can be successful in rewriting equations and writing them from a graph.